Hello YouTube, it's the Utopian Buddha. Hello guys, I'm starting a new chess stream. This chess stream is dedicated to your chess adventure, to your growth as a chess player. I am an ELO 182. You cannot get much lower than that. My opponent is lower than that, but you cannot get much lower than that. So how do you think a 182 chess player is going to help you, dear YouTube person? How, do you, how am I going to help you become a better chess player? The sole goal of this channel is to help you gain confidence by looking at how bad I am at chess. I hope to inspire you. To, to feel better about yourself and realize like, oh man, like this guy really sucks at chess. I'm really not that bad. So, so strap in, you know, I'm going to be talking. I'm going to be talking about all kinds of stuff. You know, most chess streamers, they just talk about chess when they're streaming. I want to do things a little differently. In the real world, I'm actually an author. I've written 15 books. I actually just wrote a book on spirituality called Stream of God Consciousness delusions of grandeur in an alternate reality. In that book, the main character has a messiah complex, believes that he's God returned to earth, and it's about his experiences. And the reason I mentioned, this is my most recent book I've written, and the reason I mentioned that book is because in that book, um, the main character, the hero, actually plays Magnus Carlsen in a chess tournament. It's a fiction, obviously, but it's really interesting, you know, I, I relate chess to um, history in the sense that if you look at chess, right, every move has an impact on the future contingencies and uh, outcome of the game, right? Every move, every little thing that you do has monumental impact. And similarly, history to some degree is also like that, right? There are always forking potentials, all these future potentials. And like, you know, one move, things changes things that way, you know. So so that's kind of like, you know, what I'm into. I'm pretty big into philosophy and stuff. But let me see. I'm, I'm going to bring my, bring my, uh... all right, all right. Now I'm going to strap in, guys. Get ready for a good game or get ready for a good beginner game. All right. So now I'm going to talk you guys through my chess strategy. Let you guys in, give you guys insight into the mind of a beginner. The beginner's mind, you know, that's a big Zen thing, right? In Buddhism, they always talk about the beginner's mind. So let's see. I'm going to bring my... Oh, no, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to swing my bishop around and bring my bishop up here. So so they talk about the beginner's mind in Zen. It's, it's a very important concept. The beginner's mind. The beginner's mind. And, the you know, there's this famous Zen story where... Um, you know, this student is asking the Zen teacher all these questions, trying to outsmart the Zen teacher. And the Zen teacher gives him tea and he starts pouring the tea into the cup, right? And then the Zen master keeps pouring the hot tea into the cup. And the student is like, what are you doing? The, the cup is over full. It's like, and he just kept on pouring. And he says, this is exactly how your mind is, right? How can I fill a cup that's already full? You know, you have to empty your cup. So that's what this game is about for me at least, emptying the cup, realizing a little humility. You know, humility is important. Let's see what I can do. Oh, oh. No, I don't think that's just an aggressive move that I don't need. I'm going to try to open up this e-file, this e-file. I'm going to try to open up the e-file. I've got two minutes and 49 seconds. i got to start playing faster. Let's see. But yeah, so, so yeah, what was I talking about? I was talking about something. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, humility, right? Like, humility is very important. Humility is very important. And frankly, I'm not a very humble person all the time. I'm, I'm actually, I've grown up arrogant, you know? I've always been the smart kid. Except, I, except I'm not good at chess for whatever reason. I don't know, you can be smart and still be bad at chess. I've always been the nerd, you know? Not an, even a nerd. I'm never. I haven't even been a nerd, really. I've just been um. Always the smart kid. Yeah, so I write books and stuff. That's my major thing. I'm actually. I'm actually getting pretty good. I used to be bad. All right, check out this. This is gonna be a sick fork. All right, so he, 
He brought his bishop up to g7 to threaten my knight, but watch this fork, dude. He didn't even see this fork coming. I'm going to hop my knight up to g6. Bop. Didn't see that coming. What, what? See, I forked his queen and his rook, dude. That's chess right there, dude. That's chess. And if you guys don't know, a rook is worth five points and a, and a knight is worth uh, three points. The horse is only worth three points. So any trade in this situation is good. He's going to have to save his queen, obviously. He's going to have to save his queen. Maybe we might not even see it. I am playing a 100 after all. Noob. Ha! 100. A 100 chess player. What a noob. He's only got 1 minute and 56 seconds. 50 seconds left. You better hurry up. Make some decisions. That's also what chess is about. Chess is a very philosophic game. It's a very philosophic game. You know, decisions, consequences, things like that. Watch this. So now, all right, check out check out this attack pattern I'm considering. So I'm looking at my dark squared bishop on d2. That's going to be able to slice to the right and hit that pawn. And I'm looking, looking at my d1 queen. That's also going to be able to hit that pawn on h5. Oh, so he, oh, he didn't even save his queen. What a fucking noob, dude. I play, I play complete morons, man. Complete morons. All right, let's see. So now I'm I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit him with another check. Brought that brought that bishop up. And watch, he's probably gonna use his bishop. I'm gonna predict it. Oh no, okay, okay, I was wrong. But watch this move. I'm gonna check him again. I'm gonna check him again. Bop. Huh. Let's see what I should do now. Mm, I'm going to go in for the checkmate. I'm going to try and go in for the checkmate. I'm trying to figure out a way that I can checkmate this guy. Okay, I have a plan. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I have to get rid of the... Oh, no. I'm not going to do that. All right, let's see. Uh, I got to bring my bishop into the game, I guess. Let's, let's, let's bring up this pawn. I want to see if he makes a mistake. I want to see if he makes a mistake and, and attacks. Oh, he did. See, he, he he attacked with the wrong one. Now he opened up the my rook file. See, let's see. See, now watch this move. Watch this move, guys. I think this is checkmate. I think this is checkmate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Checkmate. Peace and love, guys. Peace and love. I'm going to dip out. Namaste.